my own products. I am a product of my products. So if you see me, you see my skin, you see me glowing, this is what I use. And I will <laughs> say, I first met you at Art and Spark. Right. That's when I first, first ever met Cece. And out of all of the tables that I visited at Art and Spark, I literally, I saw her at the front. I said, I'm going to be right back because I think, I can't remember what it was that said I was going to be right back. <laughs> and then when I came back, I bought like one of almost everything because it was just like, this is the packaging the energy and the effort that she puts into the packaging and then just her personality her vibe is in her product and that's something that people need to understand people's right. created products are an extension of their energy you can tell based on right. that um another thing that she is going to be physically carrying yes, locally cmos so raw and prepared now tell them about your cmos um now this so this is the thing. The sea moss, yes, I'm getting this source from the beautiful Madonna. Oh. <laughs> but before I started getting this, all sea moss is not created equally. No. I've had other sea moss, and this is how I know this for sure. So back in December, um, my blood count dropped really low. Mm. They wanted me to get a blood transfusion, iron um, infusions, and I'm just like, no, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So I was using a CMOS, but it was like it wasn't working. I did feel kind of good, but it just wasn't working. Like as far as like when I go to the doctor, they're doing my labs every other week, checking the numbers. So I started consuming Madonna's CMOS right here. Really? I started consuming <laughs> that CMOS gel. Oh, wow. When I tell you, I started when I got that drop from you in December. Yes. Maybe mid-January. I went to the doctor and my blood count, my numbers were like at an eight or a nine, but they were like at a two. It was like so low. They wanted to hospitalize me. Okay, wait, this know. is like real time reviews because I didn't know this what you were going through. Yes. I'm thinking I'm dropping off CMOS because it's COVID outside and people need to get healthier and things like that. Wow. She was saving my life in the <laughs> That's amazing. So, um, like, this is one of the ones that I like use. Every, every two weeks, I was going to the doctor. They draw my work. The numbers are going up. The numbers are going up. Oh, wow. And it was because of the CMOS. That's amazing. So all CMOS, CMOS is not created equally. But this one right here is the real deal. <laughs> and I use natural spring water in it. So um, not all natural spring water is created equally either. Now, you want to be mindful to where it's being sourced. I have a client. It's named T2O Trap Water. And they actually source, which is amazing. They can source natural spring water anywhere that we can dig for natural spring water. This spring water is actually natural to the Blue Ridge Mountains. Okay. And they source on the more of, or on the Georgia side of the mountain. So we found a natural, I can say we, they found a natural spring water source. And then the company that they use for the digging and getting the sample, because they got samples from all over the United States, that was the most mineral infused naturally as far as so you weren't just getting like yes CMOS has 92 minerals actually up to 102 of the natural minerals that you need for your body right, right. now see did you ever take it and put it on your body no okay so literally because i'm also an herbalist but whatever mm -hmm. you put in you can put on the outside so when you're doing these as soaks mm -hmm. you can add CMOS to it and it's actually being seeped into your actual organs that okay. way. So it's a twofer. You can use it as, because um, you can put it in soap mm -hmm. and you can bathe with it, but you don't want to put it in the soap when the soap is at its hottest. You want to put it in when it's starting to cool down and you okay. can mix it in. And you can actually bathe with it and it helps to detox. Like I've never gotten any of these sicknesses outside and it's because I was making soap at home and I'm literally scrubbing my children and bathing my children and bathing myself. <laughs> Right. Okay. the CMOS soap. So you can actually utilize it in your bath and you can take a couple of tablespoons or I always tell people get at least two jars. You want to consume at least a jar a week. Okay. Um, why? Because it's like taking a natural vitamin or natural minerals. You want to make sure you're consuming every day. One tablespoon a day literally See, does I not I was not even consuming enough and the numbers were still <laughs> showing. <laughs> so yeah, so you want to have at least a jar a week, if not a jar and a half to two jars. You want to consume okay. it as much as you can. There is no restriction on how much you can consume it. You can put it in your water, you can put it in your shakes, you can actually put it in, like if you're someone who's going to be or incorporating raw mm -hmm. vegan, 
You can use it with a pesto. You can use it um, as a created Alfredo for your noodles. Okay. You can actually eat the sea moss by itself. Just make sure it cleans really well. You know what I mean? So it okay. doesn't taste fishy, if you will. Okay. Because this is a part of the natural environment and it actually takes on the taste of the water. And you gotta think, there's fish right. having babies there. Right. If they die, they're tangled up in there. Like when I open it and you see all the salt, but you also see all of the people and things that are in there that will be in the natural ecosystem. So there isn't a cleaning process once it's sourced, they just dry it, package it, get it to you. When you're cleaning it, you wanna soak it, clean it. I clean it like I do meat, lemon and lime. Soak it mm -hmm. for at least 12 hours. That gets all the salt off of it. So have you ever had codfish or salted fish? Oh, no. Uh, we eat a lot of weird <laughs> stuff in the islands. But with salt fish, we normally soak for a day. That gets all the salt off of it. So any type of salted meat, salted anything, you want to soak it first to get the salt off, then rinse it, then process it. That's really cool. Like I didn't it's know like, I was helping like, you I like have that. a TikTok video showing that whole process yes. that she just explained. Yes. It's one I'm gonna pin it at the top. This is one Please. of my older older ones. Yes. But I have that same process step by step video showing you yes. how to clean it, how to process it. So I'm gonna make sure I pin that at the top of my um videos. I'm really happy, even though I know herbs and minerals help, but I'm really <laughs> happy that that helped with your yes. now do you have C Mafia now? No, I I'll leave some. this with you. Yeah. So that you can start keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Try to consume more. Um, you can even give it to your kids as much as you're taking it. Try to consume it more. Um, if you can get it down in the morning, do you do um, any type of kidney flush or things like that in the morning with like lemon water before you take on anything for the day as far as food? No, I just, well, I always start off with my tea yes. and I put my lemon and honey in that. Okay. So you can choose to add it to the tea. Mm -hmm. but until it becomes that acquired taste so where it doesn't bother you or you can put it in uh, lemon and lime water early in the morning I normally have a cup of lemon and lime water and then some hot tea before I put any food in my stomach I would have to have this is how I normally do I would have my tea and then I will mix it with applesauce yes and then I eat it with some okay, applesauce okay you can do that too yeah. but I want you to take it early when your body is not processing food Got and it. then I want you to take it like focus on morning and night okay. you can incorporate throughout the day but focus on morning and night because at night time your body is doing restorative things right in the morning time you're just getting up after it's restored so you want to do it when your body is most like when it's getting up and getting going and then when you're shutting down and going to sleep at night right. so it can restore itself overnight let's try it that way and see what it does that's amazing yeah. so 